And while the world condemned the terror on Moscow, Moscow's troops were busy escalating the fighting in Ukraine's battleground. On Monday, a Russia, in fact, Russia rained missiles at residential areas in Kiev. A wing of a three-story building in Kiev was reduced to rubble in the missile attack. At least 10 people were injured. This was a ballistic missile and the air raid alert started only when the first explosions could be heard in the city. There were three explosions simultaneously in three districts. In the Pechersky district, Solomyansky district and in Darnitsky district. It was pure luck that nobody died in this educational facility for children. It was closed. As of now, five people asked for medical assistance. Two, including a 16-year-old girl, were hospitalized. And there, Yermak, Ukrainian president's chief of staff, called uh, Russia and Putin terrorists, comparing them to ISIS, which claimed responsibility for the Moscow attack. The U.S. ambassador to Kiev, Bridget Brink, said Russia had used hypersonic missiles to attack the Ukrainian capital. When the air alert sounded, we were with the grandpa in the living room in our apartment. It is on the ground floor. The air alert started at 10.29 and literally after 10 seconds the missile came. Our flat got a bit damaged. Windows were blown out and the flat is all dirty. But the most important thing is that we escaped alive. In recent days, Russia has dramatically stepped up its missile attacks on Ukraine. On Sunday, Russia fired missiles at Ukraine's critical infrastructure in the western region of Lviv. Uh, the attack also saw one Russian cruise missile briefly fly into Polish airspace. Moscow launched 57 missiles and drones in the attack that also targeted the capital Kiev two days after the largest aerial bombardment of Ukraine's energy system in more than two years of the war. According to the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, more than 200,000 Ukrainians in the city of Kharkiv were left without stable electricity supply. Following what Kiev said was Moscow's biggest attack of the war on Ukraine's power grid. On Friday, Russia pounded Ukrainian power facilities, striking a vast dam over the Dnipro River, which not only killed at least five people, it left more than a million Ukrainians without electricity. The strike used Kinzhal hypersonic missiles, which are harder to shoot down. According to the Ukrainian Air Force, the air defenses destroyed 18 of 29 inbound Russian missiles. They say that the air defenses also destroyed 25 of 28 attack drones launched from the Russian side. The targeting of critical infrastructure indicates that Russia is keeping up the pressure on Ukraine's energy system. After its strikes caused widespread blackouts last week, Ukraine, which has been exporting power in recent weeks, had a sharply increased imports of electricity after attacks on the energy system. Meanwhile, Poland's armed, armed forces said that the Russian cruise missile launched at Lviv had violated Poland's airspace. Warsaw said it would demand an explanation from Moscow. The object was observed by Polish military radars throughout the whole flight. Earlier, as I said, all strategic actions were taken in order to ensure safety. Polish and Allied on-call teams operating F-16 planes were activated. Due to the fact that it was one of the biggest threats for Ukraine since the beginning of the war, 
this massive attack was one of the biggest. All of these actions were taken well in advance and in accordance with our strategy. The object was monitored the whole time and it returned to Ukraine's territory. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.